Hey up everyone and I'm back for another real time drawing chat. So I'm currently working on this drawing. It's got three dogs in it, two spaniels and a collie. And I'm currently working on the collie and then I'll move on to spaniel next. And I've mostly done this collie now, so just a few more touches to do. And then the dogs are all laying on a bit of a step. So with some slabs and what have you, so I'll I'll draw that in last. So I'll I'll list all my materials that I'm using in description as well. Um so anyway I'll just get on with it because first thing I need to do here is just get this brush on this dog's hair and soften it a little bit I am filming all of this drawing uh, and I'll do it as a, a time lapse as well so if anybody wants to see it full thing I will be uploading that as well and I can post it whenever because um, the owner knows about this drawing she's ordered it for herself so it's, it's not a secret or out. So anyway, I hope you've uh, you've all had a nice weekend and beginning of week. I had my last agility show on Saturday just gone. I don't generally do any indoor ones over winter. So it probably will be my last show until until next season, next year, in spring. Wisp did get another win, so that's strike three to grade six. She needs to get five wins in grade five to get to grade six. And she's had three of them now, and they're all agility ones as well, so... They, they need to have at least three wins in agility so the others she can get them in jumping as well as agility she can win whatever she wants now and in order to progress I can remember a time when she couldn't seem to win any agility she only seemed to be able to win jumping classes so when I were trying to get her out of grade three we had loads of jumping wins but we just couldn't get the agility wins and now she's getting all these agility wins I'll just cover that up for the time being so that I'm not leaning my hand on directly on paper. I'm just sorting this eye out. So anyway, um I've also been having some warmer weather here at the minute. I think September turned out to be a warmer month than July and August this year. I'm just going to have to sharpen this pencil because I've started my video off. I, I do it every time I start a video off and then think I've not sharpened my pencil. So here I am, back, back. <laughs> So yeah, we've uh, we've had a, a warmer September than what we had July and August. <laughs> Such is the way in UK it just likes to do everything completely backwards. Just when you think you've seen it all, it throws something else at you. So yeah, and now we're in beginning of October. And we've had some really warm, well, I mean, we've had rain as well, but it's set to be in, in 20s come weekend. I've got a wedding shoot on Saturday, so that will probably work out quite well for me. 
because I'm not just a photographer, I'm also a guest, so I sort of have to wear some, you know, that's going to make you look like you're at a wedding. <laughs> but at the same time, it needs to be practical to be able to run around as a photographer. And I didn't really want to have to put like a coat and all that on of at top. I don't really have many clothes for these kinds of occasions because I'm always, you know, just in my scruffs, like doing things with dogs. And so I'm always like in jeans or joggers or something like that. I can try type trousers and stuff, but I tend to wear it winter, like, you know, thermal type ones. So I don't really have many, you know, clothes for smart events. And it's not very often I do wedding shoots. It's my niece's wedding, so that's why I'm doing the shoot. I have done a few others before for people. You know, mainly like people I know, maybe, you know, family, but mainly just people I know. So it's not my first time doing a wedding shoot. But yeah, it means I can, I've, I've bought a new top to wear and it means that I don't have to like put a, a coat or some on top of it because it'll be warm enough we are. And plus it means that we can do some outdoorsy shots with, with my niece and groom and what have you and her husband and they're not going to be freezing whilst we're getting these photos it's going to be it is going to actually be nice and pleasant outside when we get some nice outdoorsy shots because it's not worse than trying to get nice pictures to wedding when when they're absolutely freezing yeah you're just wanting to air up you're not wanting to make them stand them out you know in it for too long wedding dresses that are not really made for keeping you warm in cold and wet weather So yeah, it's, uh, it has uh, come at right time to have, um, you know, a little bit of an Indian summer <laughs> and no, no rain, hopefully. I've had some weddings before we, we were definitely not lucky with weather, which it is not that difficult in UK to not be lucky with weather. It really is a gamble. Whatever time of year it is, it's a real gamble in UK when it comes to weather. You just never know what it's going to do. That said, it, I mean, it, it doesn't rain all the time. For them, that's not in UK. It's, if you think it rains all the time, it doesn't. It's just that when it does start raining, you know, especially after a dry spell, it just doesn't seem to know when to stop. <laughs> so it tends to, the weather here tends to like go through phases where it might be dry for weeks. I mean, sometimes we have like drought conditions and just, and you're absolutely desperate for some rain. It's like waiting for weeks for it to rain. And then when it does rain, that's it then. It doesn't know when to stop, so then you've just got weeks of just rain. <laughs> So it goes from one extreme to other. <laughs> Just don't get like much like nice sort of happy medium. So that's why Brits are, are complain about weather a lot because that's what it tends to do to us a lot. You know, it just gives us too much of something. Whether it's too much heat and sun and no rain and gardens all dying and everything and everyone's like melting to death. Uh, or it's either like chucking it down with rain and everywhere's flooding and everyone's days out and events are being ruined and so yeah it's uh, there's usually something to complain about when it comes to weather i'm probably not going to let this chat get as long as previous ones i've done because i've been i've been using me uh, main phone to record this drawing to see if footage is nicer on it. This is the iPhone rather than the... I just have this Samsung phone that I got cheap off a of mate that I just use specifically for getting like footage on. But I thought I'd try this and see what this one's like 
but it's it can be a bit of a pain getting the footage off at phone onto my PC. And I'm having to like try and upload it to cloud and then do it that way. And it can be a bit of a pain. So I'm trying not to let the, the each piece of footage get too long. I keep stopping it maybe after, you know, about half an hour max so that I can upload it in smaller chunks. A bit more messing about, but I'll I'll see what the quality is like when I sort of work on it on my PC to decide whether I'm gonna do any more footage using this phone, whether it's worth the messing about or whether I'm just gonna use that other one because it's a lot easier getting the footage off that other one even much longer videos and just putting them on my PC than it is this one. Yeah, Apple fear in it. I mean this phone it's I didn't buy it. I've always had um, Android before but this phone is like it my stepdad gave it to me as like an emergency thing. It was a spare that he didn't use because I had this other phone which were just like a cheap Honor phone and the battery started expanding in it so it were important that I got another phone and stopped using that one as soon as possible so he just gave me this iPhone and I've, it's the first time I've had an iPhone I've never had one before but I'm not one for enjoying going out and buying new stuff just for the sake of buying new stuff. I'm not that kind of materialistic type, so I'll, I'll tend to just manage with what I've got for as long as I've got and, and I'll go for phones that are cheaper. You know, I'm, I'm not going to like pay. And, I, and because I just have pay as you go, because... <coughs> excuse me. Because I just have pay as you go, I'm not going to, I don't go on contracts, so I'm not going to get like an expensive phone. So I tend to just make do with like something that's cheaper and more cheerful. <laughs> so unless I get like an hand-me-down from someone, that still works alright. I'm alright with that. I'm not really a, a big on like spending. If I can get away with it, there's too many things that crop up that you're forced to spend your money on as it is. Like car insurance and fixing cars when they go wrong and all that kind of thing. So anyway, this, this leg here actually belongs to this spaniel. So they've got they've got the like legs crossed. So this weird looking leg here belongs to Collie, and then this one here belongs to the spaniel. And it does look strange, this, but that's how it is. It reference photo. I think it's because there's there's some like feathery hair coming off the side of it here, and then because the spaniel's got its leg over it and hiding part of it up here it just looks weird these are toes obviously here and some little tufts are there collies can get quite hairy feet to be honest a lot of people like to trim the feet a little bit i tend to let mine get a little bit hairy personally <laughs> so my dogs are, get they get their feet get a bit airy to wear it to be honest i, I ought to trim them a bit more So they just look a bit weird at minute. They probably look better when I start adding the step and what have you. And you've got some shadows behind them and things rather than just these weird random shapes going on.
I'm gonna check the time on that. We've done 15, 16 minutes nearly, so that can go on a little bit longer. I thought I'd um, get some of the drawing done before I did, you know, this real time draw, because then you've, you've already got something to look at rather than just a blank page with not much on it. The owner of these dogs were actually competing at the same show as me on Saturday. <laughs> Without even knowing, I actually spoke to her in a queue because she was this, I think it was this dog, <laughs> were in the same class as my dog. And I, I actually spoke to her asking if she were queuing for that. Because <laughs> she didn't have a dog, but I think her husband were holding dog for her. But I know she had a red male dog when he did bring it over. I think she ended up winning class and my dog ended up coming second. Uh, so when I had a look at the results and saw a name, I thought, oh, I bet that I bet that woman that I spoke to. Because uh, I know she'd got a blue male dog that looked similar to the one that... No, a red male, sorry. It's a red male, not blue male. It's a red male dog and I have done a drawing of it before. Um, so yeah, I knew she'd got this red male dog that looked like this one, so... I thought, I bet, bet it were her. And then I didn't see her for the rest of the day. I were hoping I might see her and bump into her. But I got my all my runs done pretty early on Saturday. So I were able to, you know, head off home a lot earlier than usual. Plus it started raining as well. So I didn't really want to be hanging around any longer than I had to. So I managed to, to dodge the rain that came in later in the day mostly but yeah come you know just after lunch and I were done and I were finished well lunch time I think she did her last run but I just went and got some breakfast which I didn't car and then I just took dogs for a little walk around venue and then I went because the, the judge for class, she went and had her lunch after our class. And then obviously when she'd had her lunch and she was ready to go back to the ring to do her next classes, she did a presentation for the classes that morning. This was for the one that WISP won, which were a different, it were a different class to the one that um, the client won. She won a jumping class and WISP won an agility class. But Wisp got second in this jumping class, what this dog won. I think this dog's in an higher grade than Wisp as well. Uh, See, so she's going to grade five, and I think this dog might be six or seven, I can't remember. But because it were a combined class, they're competing against all the dogs rather than just the ones in their own grade. So you get combined and then you get graded classes. So So yeah, the, the jumping class were a combined one. So she were against Stephen the dogs in an higher grade in that class. But yeah, it were it were nice that she managed to get round it clear still. So we're going to concentrate on training over winter. I don't know whether I might enter the, an indoor show at some time. I considered it last winter and then she ended up getting an injury, which took about a month and a half to sort out. And it just sort of put me off. I thought, oh, I can't be bothered now. Even when she were finally, because she'd not be done any training, because she'd been out of training as well. So I thought, just concentrate on training and then we'll just go back to competing again in spring when, you know, you start getting your outdoor shows again. So that's what I did. So I just get it up as a bad job.
so I'm probably just going to start getting started on this spaniel now. It's black and white spaniel. That one's a liver and white spaniel, this one's a black and white spaniel. So I've got to try and make them look, even though I'm working in, you know, black and white monochrome. I've got to try and make them look like they're different colour to each other. But the, this area is actually going to be white, but it's it's sort of sheltered underneath, so it's it's in shade and looks a lot darker. But what I'm going to do, I'll make sure this is actually in footage. Yeah, it is. I'm just going to add the whites to this spaniel, which is how I always start them all off. I am getting a few more orders this year, you know, that now at this time compared to this time last year. I remember October last year were really dead. I got a few orders towards end of October, but first half of October, oh, oh it were it were awful. I had quite a good month in uh, September. I think partly because of this wedding shoot as well, which my brother's paying for, and he's been paying in instalments, and that's been bumping it up a little bit. This is a spaniel, <laughs> these spots are they're really easy to do in acrylic, but to, in charcoal they're quite challenging doing the, all these little tiny spots everywhere. So, but this spaniel's only got a, a few, got a couple on its muzzle and then a, a few, only a small few on its legs. So there's nowhere near as many to, to worry about on this one. So I'm using a pencil extender here because this, as you can see, it's tiny now. Da -da. So I'm just using a pencil extender just so I can handle it a bit better. Trying to hold a tiny pencil, it's, it's just not good. So these pencil extenders are very useful. It came in like a, a pack that I bought on Amazon of like... Um, it got loads of graphite pencils in when I was doing graphite and and then it had got some other stuff in it as well. It had got some charcoal pencils in it and so it was just like a general set that you can buy. So the little bits and pieces, even though I'm, I'm not really using graphite anymore for these drawings, I use charcoal. But there's still bits that, you know, bits and pieces that came in it that I still find, you know, really useful. You can actually see a ring on that dog there, so... Anyway, these, these two breeds, they seem to be definitely the most common requested breeds for me, I think. <laughs> Spaniels and Collies. <laughs> I think I've mentioned it before, I, I get loads of them. It's, 
because I do agility, it's, I mean, and because I'm, I have collies myself, you know, it's pretty, because we aren't saying I'm that, you know, why I get a lot of collie requests. I've literally just gotten a, another drawing request, actually, of a, another spaniel. Not from agility, though, it just came through on Marketplace. And it's a dog that's recently been, you know, had to be put to sleep, passed away. So it's been done as a secret gift. And obviously the person have it done this had to face the challenges that so many people do where people don't post many good pictures of the pets on the Facebook, you know, where, where they have to steal the photos from to send, to give in, you know, for me to use. <laughs> and we've just had that problem with, like, really low res, like, photos that are going to be really difficult to work from. And the only version of this, the, the photo itself will probably be all right, but it's... It's just been condensed down and compressed when it's been uploaded, so it's tiny. But I did find a, a bigger version that would have been ideal, but they've, they've put this like, you know when you get these like different designs when you use it as a profile picture, you know, for like current events and... There's been all different ones, you know, I think they were it's like ones for like supporting football or... You know, all, all other manner of things that, you know, and it, it just, Facebook puts it on your profile picture for you. You just ask it to put it on kind of thing. And it's actually looks a lot better quality, but it, half the dog's been covered up by this, this design. <laughs> you just can't win. <laughs> so I'm going to, it's going to sort of use that one. And then I'm just going to use one of the, the same photo, obviously the, that's not been covered up with a design but it's absolutely minute so it comes up as thumbnail size on my screen and if you zoom into it it just goes all blurry and fuzzy so I'm just gonna have to use them both and use the the small the, you know tiny versions just to try and fill in the blanks you know where the, that design has covered dog up you know in the in the better version yes <laughs> you just can't win no matter what you do <laughs> i mean there's the, oh, there's the, also the option of um if people can't get good enough photos i do the uh, vouchers so they can at least just present the person with a voucher and then the person can sort it themselves And I have done a few of them, but I think a lot of people would much prefer to just present them with an actual drawing. The problem with vouchers is people, sometimes people just don't get around to using them. But like I say, everything, I always say everything's a double-edged sword. You just get your good and bad in everything. I'm just going to put all white on this leg at the minute. There are going to be some like spots on it but I'll put them on after I'm, I'm still busy with paintings. I've uh, my next one that I will be uploading to my channel is one that I did for my dad. Of his two retired grounds that he's got. He used to have a, a ground kennels until last year, about a, about a year ago, maybe just a, just a bit less. It were like later on last year. He, he packed it in with racing. But uh, he's always been a dog person, so he, 
he always used to keep some of them like into retirement. The others used to be rehomed via track, like uh, there used to be like a, a rehoming scheme via track. And but yeah, he decided to pack it in. And he wants to just be able to enjoy himself and do a bit of traveling and bought himself a, a camper van so he can take himself about places. Whereas before his whole life had to result, basically revolve around, you know, them grounds that he had and looking after them. So he didn't really get to go in like, you know, on holidays and stuff like that because organising the grounds being looked after were often a major challenge. So now he's just got his two retired ones and they're getting on so he's bought, I know he's recently bought himself a pup, a, a collie pup. Well, it's got a bit of spaniel in it as well, <laughs> collie spaniels. <laughs> but yeah, uh, he's recently bought himself a pup. He always had collies before. That's, he's the reason I have I've always had collies as well because I grew up with him because of him. So he's, he's going back over to Collies now. So they always win out in end. Once you've had them, that's it. Once you've had Collies. They have you for life. Well, that said, they're not uh, they're not for everybody. Some people think that collies are, are, are an easy breed because they say, oh, they're easy to train. I had one guy, it's because he was saying that, oh, you need to be alpha and all that, you know, with, with, with dogs. And because I disagreed with him, I said, no, you don't. It's, it's all just been debunked, all that stuff now. And then he, because he saw my profile picture and saw me with three collies. He says, oh, that's, you know, coming from you, you've got three collies, which are the most obedient breed. I said, have you ever owned them? <laughs> so have you ever, ever, ever had collies? <laughs> Especially like working lines ones. <laughs> When collies have got behaviour issues, they're probably about the worst breed to, to have to like deal with. That's why so many of them end up in rescue. People get them thinking they're easy, <laughs> and then they they find out that well, you do actually need to know what you're doing with them. You know they don't just train themselves, and also they're very prone to learning behaviours that you, you don't want them to learn as well. <laughs> So yeah, and they're, they're very prone to like obsessive compulsive behaviours. Changing their opinion can be extremely difficult. <coughs> I've had a bit of a tickly chest, throat. I hope I'm not coming down with something. Especially with this wedding shoot coming up on Saturday. That'd be really bad timing. I don't normally come down with things, to be honest. I've not, I've not had like a cold drought like that ooh, for a few years now. I'm not, I'm not really that prone to coming down with things very often. I've never had COVID. Touch wood. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not really a one for you know being prone for coming coming down with like infections and things seem to have quite a robust immune system 
so but yeah I don't uh, it'd be just my luck that I'd just end up coming down with some of the wedding shoot <laughs> but yeah it's uh, Hopefully not. I feel fine in myself. I'm not feeling ill or anything like that. I just felt a little bit tickly on me, you know, just in my throat. I think I'm gonna add some blacks. And it's now 30, coming up for 37 minutes. So I'm probably gonna have to quit this now just so that I can make sure that I can actually get this footage off this phone. Because otherwise it might be a bit too much of a challenge getting it off if I let it get too big. But you'll be, you'll be able to see it rest at drawing as a time lapse anyway. Because like I say, I'm filming all lot. The owner at Dogs wanted me to film. When I did the little one of the collie before, she wanted me to film that and I forgot. <laughs> so I thought, best not forget this time. <laughs> Yeah, she wanted to see like a time lapse version. It was only a little drawing of the dog jumping. So this is like a, a, a bigger drawing than what she had done last time. She saw me do some drawings of like other dogs like in groups and she liked them and decided she wanted hers like that. You know where they were just posing together in, in like a, a natural way. Right, if I keep going much longer, it's going to make this video an hour long again. So I'm going to have to finish it there, I'm afraid. Like I say, I'll, I'll be back soon. we uploaded as a, a time lapse, if you want to see it in full. I don't post that many um, charcoal, you know, just as a normal time lapse. They don't seem to get as many views anyway. Mind you, these real-time drawn chat don't either. It's just that I've got the, the odd viewers who do seem to enjoy them. And I, I like them myself when other people do them. So I thought, and because they're easy to do, I thought there's, there's no harm in just doing one here and there and uploading it. Eventually I might get more people who enjoy just sticking them on. Even if it's just something you stick on whilst you're working yourself. You don't even have to watch me drawing. Because a lot of time I don't watch the person drawing then they're doing them. I just stick them on just to listen to them rambling about random things. Sometimes they might, they might have something that says something that's quite interesting to be honest. But yes, I'll leave it at that. And... I'll be back soon with a time lapse of this and also my dad's grounds in acrylic. So anyway, if you're still here, thank you very much for still being here after all this time. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.